I was charged uh, July 27th of 2012 for operating under the influence of alcohol. I did three sobriety tests and I failed the fourth one. Alcoholism is not a disease because there's a cure. It's called quit. I still have a hard time wrestling with somebody telling me that I can't do something and uh, especially at that at an entity of that sort to where you can't consume what is a legal substance in your own home but I didn't realize that going into. It's such a different dynamic when you see them be so defiant and instead of being afraid or concerned and just go totally against the grain and, you, and you're helpless. I mean there's nothing you can do ex except sit back and watch it all unfold and try to be supportive. It's a shame that I had to drag them through this mud because I can take the pain. I don't know how well they can. It is an embarrassment. I just never thought it would come to this. It was easier with two parents. It's hard with one. Just don't want to have to go through it much more. It's annoying. I don't try anymore. Is your, is your I feel like I have other things I can be doing for my dad. It's, I don't feel like sitting at school for seven hours. And, Paying attention when I can be out doing something for my dad to help him and my mom take stuff off her. It's a lot easier. The court granted seven days a week work release and the, the, the jail granted five days a week. Started in the car wash industry in 1993. Always thought that would be a great business to get into back in high school. The weekend is when uh, the business is active, that uh, if there's a problem, I would uh, head that direction to solve it. And now that I'm relying on transportation by others, it's challenging. The jail administrator wasn't really liking the idea of having me come home. But I says, this is my home base, and that's where the calls come in. That's where my soap deliveries are. That's where I repair pumps, uh, repair hoses, the UPS that's shipping and receiving here. And uh, he agreed to it. So I'm blessed for that, that I can be here. I'm still trying to decide whether I'm an alcoholic and, uh, and possibly I am. The whole time I'm thinking, I just hope that in the end he doesn't get right back to where he was before. Realistic, I don't think he's going to change much. I'm more of a supportive person and a fixer. I like, like to fix everything. I don't walk away. You know, I, don't, I don't even... I can't throw leftovers out. <laughs> I mean... So I think it's everybody's different personalities. I'm not strong enough to just say, screw you and I'm out of here. That's just, to me, seems unchristian. I've been reading a lot in the Bible since I've been in that jail on this uh, go around. God's trying to tell me something here, I think, out of this, so. Let go and let God. During the week, she's a little bit more strict because there's no one else around, and she has to drive him around, and I have to take care of David, and it's not fun. Oh, yeah. It's not fun at all. I really think, too, I wished I would have been stronger before and just left. I'd tell anyone to do that. You know, it's tough unless it's your child. If it was my child, I mean, you can take away their car. You, can, you can't parent a husband. I mean, you can't. I did already once, and I got caught by my mom, but I didn't really feel like doing it ever again. So I actually 21, because I see how bad it messes with people's heads, and how bad you can feel. And you just, I don't feel like being 16, getting completely drunk and drive around and get my license taken away. It's not worth it. It's, I'd rather just drive around and have fun and listen to music. I don't need anything like that to make me feel better. I just want life to be back to normal.